Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome if you're new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So for today's video, I'm going to start off by unboxing this box of acrylics I got as a PR package. And I cannot wait. As you see, there's so many colors in here. I've been dying to dig into this box. Of course, I had to take a sneak peek like I always do. But yeah, these powders are from Gabby Bomb Nails. She has her own website as well as she create content over on Instagram and YouTube here. I will have her information linked down below if you want to check her out. I really recommend you guys watching her videos on YouTube because they're just so satisfying to watch and hear her just talk about random things or like things about the powders and just stuff that's going on in her life. But yeah, she reached out to me over on Instagram and asked to see if I wanted to try some of her powders. And just like you saw the acrylic brush, I have received some of her powders before and like products and I really, really love them. And it was just so sweet of her to reach out again to send me another package. But let's just go ahead and get into this package here that I got. I'm so excited because this first collection I'm going to show you guys is her Neon 90s Day Collection. And I just really loved it because everything, like the names, the colors of them, it just felt so nostalgic. The first color I showed was a really, really bright green called Lime Wire. And if you remember anything from that time, like Lime Wire was like this software where you would try to download all the music. Um, I just remember me having my mom's computer trying to download it, trying not to put viruses on it, and I didn't even know anything about it. The 90s was really a time to be alive. Um, but yeah, the next colors that I showed was called Rugrats. Of course, everyone's, um, well, most of everyone's childhood cartoon. We also had the color Dragon Tails. And again, that cartoon stuck out to me because I remember me and my sister um, coming home from school, putting it on PBS. And we would just watch all the shows that came on. Arthur, Cyber Chase, Dragon Tails, Zoom. Like, it was just so many things. That's why I really, really love this collection because it just brought back so many memories, so many good memories. Memories. And the next color I showed was called Spice Girls and I loved the Spice Girls growing up. Again, me and my sister would sing all the songs, watch that movie about at least once a week. And then while we watched it, we would pick out which Spice Girl we wanted to be. Like it's so ridiculous now, but we would actually get into like arguments if we pick the same girl during the same sitting while watching it. Um, we also got some colors like Hey Arnold, which was a really bright yellow. And Arnold's hair was yellow, so I just immediately get yellow vibes from that show. Then we get colors like this purple here, which is called Zenin. Now this show, I remember it being on like Disney Channel, but I don't remember watching it. Um, I do get like this spaceship purple silver vibe from her though like I just remember it being there I don't think I've ever watched that show and then the last color from her 90s collection is called Nick Splat which is self-explanatory I just love that collection so much like I said it brought back so many good memories then she also sent me her tropical collection which is a glitter collection and I love anything with glitter in it so again I just love this collection so much and I'm gonna go through all of the colors and show you the names really quickly. I think she did a really good job at naming these, picking them which colors to be on because I just think they all match super perfectly. And just wait until I swatch these colors out. They are just so, so gorgeous, y'all. Again, these are from Gabby Bomb Nails on Instagram and her site is called shop.bombnails. Everything will be linked in the description box if you wanna check her out, check out her website. And also before I forget, she was also kind enough to give me a discount code if you guys wanna shop there so you can save 15% off using my discount code key 15 and we got through all of the colors rather quickly this color here is the last one I'm going to show from her tropical collection um and then also like I just really love her so much y'all she also included these bigger jars here and these are like super huge it has her brand name on it I love how she used a heart for the OM bomb that's so cute I was so excited because this is the biggest jar of acrylic I have in my entire collection. Like for some reason, just having these huge containers just really made me so happy. So we got two types of like cover pinks. This first one here is a really sparkly pinkish color. And you guys know I love colors like this where it has like a hint of shimmer or sparkles in it. Then also the second color here is called Bombshell, which is a cover pink. And it is just super gorgeous. The coverage is really, really nice. 
and let's just go ahead and start swatching these out so the first color i'm gonna swatch is the sparkling color and to swatch these out i'm gonna be using her number 14 um kalinsky acrylic brush and this brush will also be linked down below i really like this brush because the bristles are like really nice it doesn't feel too big for this size and also it's crimped just how i like it to be so yeah i'm just going to go ahead and swatch these colors very, very quickly also one thing i like to like look out for when i'm trying new acrylics is how well it polymerize whenever it turns from like that dry chalky look to like this really smooth like bubblegum finish um that is how you know you have a good powder where it actually polymerize and then you'll be able to do the application really nice um if it stays like that really dry chalky consistency it's not going to blend with the monomer and you will basically have problems throughout the entire application unless that's something you like to work with but really i don't know anyone who likes to work with chalky acrylic for me it's just like really really messy and it have a hard time blending if you want to do ombres and yeah so with these colors i feel like they all polymerize very very nicely and i think these are going to be really good to use as you can tell these are summer colors her neon collection and again these are so nice i didn't have any problems with it marbling either whenever i did the swatches or whenever I did my acrylic application and you guys will see that in a few seconds but yeah this yellow here hey Arnold is the last color I'm gonna swatch from her neon collection and this is how they look they are super stunning perfect for the summer also let me know down below um, like if you know any of the shows from this collection whether you have memories to share like what was your favorite show even if it isn't one of the names of these acrylics let me know down below like even if you have to leave paragraphs i will read them because i'm really interested and honestly i want to know about some of you guys childhood memories or like what is your favorite memory i know this sounds all over the place but y'all i was just so excited about this acrylic collection but moving on to the tropical collection again y'all i know i keep saying this but i really love this collection i just feel like everything is so perfectly matched the names the perfect amount of glitters are in these to where you can go for like something like that's not too glittery or you can use a little bit more and get like that just solid glitter look and I don't know if it was intentional, but I love how the Neon Collection has a glitter to match from the Tropical Collection. With the exception of the purple and yellow, those really don't have a color to match it. But I'm sure you can find some other glitters on her website to like complement it very well. But yeah, this is how all of the powders look. Again, I love this collection. I recommend you guys checking it out. It's going to be super bomb for this summer. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into these nails, y'all. I went ahead and applied my nail tips off camera, and these are the 3XL Square from Crafts by Nine. Like I always mention in my videos, they are linked down below under the frequently used products. So when I was thinking of a design for these nails, I didn't know what to do because always complicated for myself try to do the most um and i wanted to use all of the colors just because i just wanted something bright and summery that's gonna complement this collection like super well so i was gonna use both of her collections at the same time um where i was gonna do like a glitter tip and then ombre like the actual color to match it down but I didn't know how the bright neon colors were going to look, blend it down into the glitters, basically replacing like a cover or a like nudish color. So I thought maybe I should just do two separate designs because I really want to use both of her collections and I just didn't know how to use both of them without doing too much or complicating it for myself. So I just end up going with her neon summer collection. And as you can see, I did go ahead and use two colors to do a vertical ombre on my index nail. And that's basically how I'm going to be showcasing these colors. I'm going to be picking out two colors that complement each other and blending them together, doing a vertical ombre. So when I first started using these colors, I did only want to use a little bit because just how bright and pigment these colors are, I didn't want it to really stain in places I didn't want it to be. But when I started using it, it was the perfect amount um and also i am kind of working with it a little bit watery because when you are working with colors like this they blend so much better when they are wetter 
so I am working with them a little bit wetter than usual um but I could control it like it was really easy to control usually when I work with powders like this where they have so much pigment in them and it's super watery it just starts to get really messy and then I have to like drain out some of the liquid in my brush but that wasn't the case with these powders and I'm actually really surprised on how well they blended like even the darker colors like they just blended so nicely um also one thing I did realize when ombreing them is that I needed to use the darker color first and that goes for like any type of product it's always best to start with a darker color that way you can like overlay the lighter color to get that perfect blend because if you overlay the darker color it's just gonna overtake the lighter color if that makes sense but yeah, I had a really fun time doing this set, like using these colors like this. Using all of her colors from this collection was really my main goal. And I feel like I did a really good job at using the colors because that way you can kind of get a look at how each color works. I know sometimes when colors are a little bit darker, they tend to have a lot more pigment in them. Or like just depending on like the color sort of like the blue and purple those are like darker pigments so sometimes you may need a little bit more or whatever the case is and depending on how much pigment it has to create that color sometimes it's like really hard to blend out and it may get chalky in some areas you may see some where it's not like mixed all the way and you get those little specks of colors in there but that wasn't the case for any of these powders and that's what i really like about them so overall i do rate these as being really really nice to use especially if you are a beginner i feel like they check a lot of boxes when it comes to what i look out for pigmented coverage um marbling polymerization and a pretty color just being a bonus so yeah that's basically my thoughts on these acrylics i really like them and if you are looking for some bright neon colors like this check out the links in my description box everything will be linked there and keep in mind that i do have a discount code that you guys can use to save some money off which is key 15 and i'm gonna go ahead and finish up applying these so we can get to the next part i know i've been talking a long time and i'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of this So I'm just finishing up my thumb here, which I did the blue and purple. I really love that color combination and surprisingly the colors blended really nicely together, especially with them being like both darker. So now that I got all of my ombres done, I went ahead and pulled out my two other cover pinks. I really wanted to include the sparkle pink and of course I will be using the color pink to do an ombre. But I really wanted to use the sparkly color so the way I decided to include that is just to put a little bead along the blend and just give it one or two swipes that way the glitter kind of covers a little bit more of the nail. The sparkle pink has a light pink hue to it whenever I do this but I wasn't really focusing on the pinkish color. I just more so focus on the glitter and as you can see it's turning out so cute the way it has like this subtle hint of glitter and that's exactly what I wanted. I think the glitter looks super nice. It kind of gives it a space galaxy look in a way. But once I finish adding all my glitters, I'm going to take the bombshell color and just do a simple ombre, fading it down into my vertical ombres. So 
so now that I'm working on my ombre, since it's being a cover pink, I thought it was a good idea to just use this one to like use it as a cover ombre color. But halfway through me doing this nail, since I did use it on this like these bright yellow and orangish color, I thought it was going to be too pink for the colors to match. And like you kind of see that right here. And honestly, I just thought I messed up the design because I didn't want to have to go over it with like a nude or something. And besides, I wanted to use her actual cover pink. That way I can just go ahead and use it in one video. So here I was like, no, I messed up this nail usually i would just stop it here but i just wanted to finish going and just to see how it was going to turn out so i'm going to finish doing this on all of my nails of course it does look better on this pink and purple nail because it ties in with the pink and it complements the purple um i feel like this was the best nail i used it on but i'm going to finish using that cover pink to ombre down into all of my colors and you will see how it turns out at the end and i'm gonna let this part here play out just because i feel like i've been talking for so long so yeah if you are enjoying today's video make sure to leave a like down below also subscribe to my channel if you're new and you haven't already and also if you are feeling generous leave a comment down below or leave the rainbow emoji I finished up my thumb off camera just because it's super repetitive. Um, so now it's time to encapsulate. We have to build up the structure for it and also just kind of cover up our ombre so we don't file it away. So for my encapsulation, I'm gonna use my clear powder from Not Polish. And again, I am working with this a little bit wetter than normal because I did realize when you are working with a clear powder, you get a more clear look when it's like wetter than normal. That way it has a lot of room to polymerize and you don't have like air bubbles or those parts in the acrylic where you can still see the powder being dry where it haven't been touched by the monomer yet. But also what can be tricky when you are working with clear and having more monomer on the brush is not knowing how big of a bead to pick up. And I kind of just eyeball it. I don't really know how to really explain it. It's just that if I'm working at a small area or need to fill in like a little piece like along the cuticle area or fill in some dips, of course I'm going to get a smaller bead. But for like my first bead as you saw, I did pick up a bigger bead so that I have more area to cover. Yeah, that's basically how I do my encapsulation and I'm only going to be showing one nail just because I didn't want this to be super long. Just as long as you see one nail for the encapsulation, you kind of get an idea of how the rest of the application went.
I did have some areas to fill in because I had some dips in the nail but once I finished this is how the finished encapsulated nails are looking I did give them a few minutes to dry and now I'm going to be filing them down of course I'm gonna be showing one nail again because like I said as long as you see one nail you kind of get an idea of how the rest of the process went so I'm gonna be using my 8080 grit panel files and just filing the sides like I always do filing underneath the nail and also going over the surface making sure that it is smooth you also will see me going around the cuticle and that is just to seal everything in. Also, you kind of get a sneak peek of the new Kara Scott Dust Collector. This is my first time using it in today's video, but I'm going to make a separate video of me unboxing it and giving you a little bit more information about it. But if you have been seeing the post on Instagram for this dust collector, you know that the suction is strong enough to where it can stick to a wall. But that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to let you guys finish watching the filing part so we can get into the design of these nails. So after all of my shaping and filing and buffing, this is how the nails are looking. Um, I did have some problems with my middle finger to where I had to file it down a little bit more. So it ended up being my ring finger was a little bit longer than a lot of my other nails. I didn't realize until I finished, but I just mentioned it here because I noticed it at the end. Um, but usually I would get up to wash my hands, but I was feeling a little bit lazy today. So I'm just taking a stiff manicure brush and some alcohol and just really wiping down the nails on top around the cuticle and also underneath just to make sure all of the dust is removed. Once I finished, I did go over them with another lint-free wipe just to kind of remove all of the excess alcohol and just to smooth everything out. But yeah, this is basically how my nails are looking so far. So I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do for the design so I did something off camera just to see if I like it or not. And with the design I did off camera I went ahead and added a top coat just to make sure I really liked it which I did. So I'm going to go ahead and continue it over all of my other nails. There's this trendy design where there's like trippy smiley faces or like wavy smiley faces. I really felt like that would bring something fun to this design because I've already wanted to like go for something fun and summerish. So to me the smiling expression brought like that positive vibe and the waviness adds more of like that funnish vibe to it. So I felt like this was a perfect way to go about the nail art. Because of course with the vertical ombre there wasn't really much I could add to it without covering up my design. So that is just the way I went about doing it. And this was so easy. I love doing this because I have really shaky hands. And the waviness just kind of came natural to where I didn't have to make sure it was perfect. So I just love doing this nail art just as much as I love doing the vertical ombre. But yeah that's basically how I'm going to finish off this design. I'm going to go ahead and repeat that putting about three to four smiley faces on all of my nails. Then also what I decided to do because I felt like they were a little bit incomplete I did add some of my four pointed stars um, just as nail fillers like I always say and it turned out really really nice and cute. So yeah that's basically how I'm going to finish off the design and I really hope you guys enjoy watching this part.
So something I'm going to do differently here is that I'm going to add a top coat over the rest of my nails because I did notice for my ring finger whenever I was getting towards the bottom and adding on my last smiley face, um, the polish was just kind of soaking in. So for some reason I didn't buff over the nails as much. Um, I don't know why I did buff over them but it just wasn't as smooth as my other nails and so when I was adding on the polish for my designs. The polish just kind of soaked into the uneven grooves and it just kind of messed it up a little bit. I did have to go over it about two times before I ended up curing it. So just to make sure that doesn't happen, I did go ahead and add a top coat just to smooth that out and just kind of fill in some of those gaps. I cured on the top coat and now I'm just going to go ahead and finish on adding my smiley faces. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add some top coat to top off the entire nail set.
then I went ahead and rubbed in some cuticle oil and this is how the finished nails turned out I really really love how these turned out it was everything I was going for these summerish really colorful bright and fun vibe like I just really love these a lot so when I was taking pictures of these on Instagram I came across this filter and I really liked it because the design and colors just look a little bit more defined um, so I did want to add that in just a little small clip and then now we are back to normal So yeah, this is how my nails look y'all look. I really love these I felt like doing the ombres was super super nice um, Although on my pinky nail, I did use colors that look too much alike So it kind of just looks like a yellow which is still fine with me It still gives me that bright and summery vibe and also I really love how the glitter looks in the background where it's like super subtle but you can see it in different lighting and it just looks so much better halfway through this design i was kind of unsure because i felt like the pink was going to be a little bit too pink for these nails but as you can see it turned out so great and it turned out to be actually the most perfect cover pink i could have asked for um and also something i did want to mention is how the colors don't really look as vibrant as they were when i first put them on i think that is just because when i encapsulated them it kind of muted out the color but i do lift up my fingers so you can see underneath my nails in a few seconds yeah the colors are like super bright but like once i encapsulated it just kind of muted them so next time i use these i'll probably use them to actually build up my nails that way i won't have to worry about encapsulating so i won't have that problem but yeah, I really do love how these nails turn out. I really love how I incorporated all of the colors. Thank you again to Gabby for sending me this PR package. I really do recommend you guys checking her out. Like I said, everything will be linked down below. And you can save some money off using the code KEY15 at checkout. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about today's set. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.